Helen Flanagan sizzled in red as she headed to Aintree Racecourse to watch the races on Ladies' Day over the weekend. The 32-year-old Coronation Street star stunned at the sporting event wearing an off-the-shoulder dress by Karen Millen. She added a chic hat to her ensemble, carried a silver tassel adorned clutch bag, and stepped up to the races in a pair of black heels. Taking to social media on Saturday, Helen showed off her outfit, much to the delight, adoration and envy of her fans and online followers. Former TOWIE star Amber Dowding was among those praising Helen over her outfit, writing in the comments section of her Instagram post, Wow! Helen you look amazing! You would have won best dressed for me! While many other fans commented that the soap star looked beautiful and stunning. However, a backlash of sorts was sparked among other stars who were disappointed to see Helen heading to the Grand National. One conflicted fan commented, I absolutely adore you, but am really disappointed in this supporting horse racing. While others were much more direct, and said they would stop being her fan due to her attending horse racing. One follower wrote, I've been supporting you for so long but nah, this sport is the epitome of cruelty for horses. As an ex-animal welfare lawyer it actually disgusts me. So I'm out, all the best, another agreed, writing, I'm unfollowing too for the same reason. You bet, they die. Every year, the Grand National, as well as other horse racing events, attracts scorn and anger from some animal rights activists who disapprove of the sport. Indeed, over the weekend three horses sadly died after collapsing and falling injured while running around the Aintree racecourse to compete for the £560,000 prize. A total of 40 horses competed for the top prize, which was part of a £1 million overall prize fund, in what was the 175th running of the world-famous steeplechase race. The lucky horse on the day was Coric Randler, who won the race and was ridden by jockey Derek Fox. The event was blighted by protests with an astonishing 118 people arrested after trying to disrupt the event. Assistant Chief Constable Paul White gave a report about the arrests, telling Reuters, just after 5 p.m. a large number of protesters attempted to gain entry to the course. The majority were prevented from breaching the boundary fencing thanks to our planning and the work of my officers. I can confirm a total of 118 people have been arrested today. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.